Alrighty, hey traders, John Howell here. In this video, we're going to be covering the Dow Jones, S&P 500, NASDAQ, even look at the Russells and so on and so forth, and give a bit of an update on the market today. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty, let's get straight into it. So today, we can see with the Dow Jones, that it pretty much is still stuck in this bit of a bit of, bit of a maybe a, a pennant or a flag formation. You can see how we had this big move up through here, a very nice move up, and we're still stuck in this flag formation. You can see the resistance level, resistance, resistance. Got the support level there, support. So we're still stuck in this overall flag formation, pennant formation, and so on and so forth. So the really interesting thing that I'm noticing through here is depending on where it breaks out. Okay, so depending on where we actually break out of this level is where it's likely to go, um, obviously, on the short term. So if we get a break down, then we're probably likely to start to see a at least a 50% retracement from the low to the high. So if we do start to break down out of this sort of uh, this uh, flag formation, then we're probably likely to race back down to around about, I'd say 50% retracement would be a target for me if that happens. If we break up and out of this level above 30,000, then the inflation is continuing, or the inflation of the markets anyway, is continuing. And we're probably likely to then see a move to the upside when looking at... Um, the uh, looking at running at 31,000 would be the target for me when looking at that. So that's what I'm looking at there when it comes to the Dow Jones. Moving over through to the S&P 500, and we're in a bit of a, again, a very nice sort of slow moving, um, sort of, again, slow moving sort of flag formation type of pennant, a type of situation. Um, we had a strong move up and a very weak move to here. So we're still in this overall small little channel that's happening right now on a small little channel basis. Um, so if we do start to break up and out of this channel here, guys, same for the, uh, um, look at the volume. What's that volume going on there? Wow, look at the volume. Is that is that true? That can't be right, can it? Wow, look at the volume. Um, I just noticed the, <laughs> I just noticed the volume. We can see that if we do break an up and out, then I have a target of around three thousand eight hundred and fifty when it comes to the S and P. Moving over now through to the Nasdaq, and the Nasdaq once again, guys, is it's just very, 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 very slow moving to the upside. So once again, um, if we do end up getting a bit of a pullback through here, then what is that volume? Is that volume right? That can't be right. Went from 3 million to 40 million. That can't be right, can it? Um, something's going on there. Um, we can see that um, that uh, that we, we're, we're actually slowly breaking above here. But if we do end up breaking below this support level, like a bit of a pullback, then once again, guys, um, I see at least a 50% sort of retracement. So uh, if we do break down, then we can start to see from the low move to the high move. So move down to right about sort of 11,600 would be the one that I'll be looking at there, uh, looking at the, the NASDAQ. But if we just keep grinding up, guys, then this thing's probably just gonna keep slowly grinding up. That's what a market does, right? Look, these indices just slowly grind. And I have a target of around 13,500 on the NASDAQ. So really interesting stuff to see what's going on there. Moving over now through to the Russell and the Russell 2000, and this is just on a very, very big uh, overall big bull market, as you can see. Um, very nice big bull market. We had a very nice move up through here, and now we're just getting a bit of a flattening out period. So um, we're, actually, where was all-time new highs? Right there. So that was the all-time new high period, as you can see. We actually got a gap up just above that, and now we're continuing to make that move up. So very bullish on the t Russell 2000. And moving over now through to the uh, Russell 3000. And you can see that I've already gotten some stuff drawn on here. And you can see that we have this channel still going on. So we're still in this overall channel through here. We did get a little bit of a gap up, um, a little bit of a, a, a break to the upside. And then we came back down and then we developed this channel, as you can see. 
So this channel here, once again, um, it's 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 one of those things, guys, that it's 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 actually slowly moving up. I've seen many times where it breaks down and then we go to the downside, but there's obviously it's probably a seventy percent chance we break down and thirty percent chance we break up. Um, it's nothing I would trade with, but by looking at this here, we have to wait to see the breakout. If we break to the upside, we're probably likely to continue up from there. But I've seen many a times where it develops as sort of a slow moving up like this, and then suddenly we get a big drop to the downside. So this is actually more like a reversal pattern, but it's only short term reversal. But what I mean by that is that we have this low point, and if I bring my Fibonacci up to the absolute high point from there, we're probably only we're probably only, this is it's a reversal pattern. So if we do get something like this out of this here, then uh, it is a um, it is a sign that we're probably likely to start to see a move back down towards the 50% level. And around the 50% level, then we're probably likely to start to see something like that, a bit of a bounce and then a continuation. Even if we do get the breakdown, guys, I do see a short-term pullback roughly around the 50 to 60% level and then a continuation up from there. So there we go, guys. That's what I'm seeing through all of that. Let's have a quick look at the energy ETF, which is XLE. And... Um, the first, the first thing about XLE, uh, yeah, XLE, is we're actually in a very. This is a weekly chart, guys. We're in a very big downward sort of trend coming through here. So we're still, we're still way, 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 way down when it comes to the energy sector. It looks like we're trying to slowly pick up through here, um, but not really much going on when it comes to the XLF. And again, just really lackluster, not really clear, no real clear pattern. So not really much going on there um, to report. And then also looking at the, uh, let's take a look at the screen here. Looking at the Dow Jones, in tra Dow Jones uh, transportation average, we can see that uh, we, we had a little bit of a, well, we had a bit of a resistance going on through there. We definitely did have support going on through there, as you can see. So we definitely had a bit of a, a bit of a support and resistance level, and and you can see that we also had this resistance level three, and now we're actually starting to slowly grind up and out of this level here. So very 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 interesting, guys, of what I'm seeing. Let me actually go bring up the six month view. Hmm. So if this is true, if we project it from the high of this sort of little bit of a channel pattern here, and then down through there project that up and we can see that um, we can see that that the transportation average is probably on its way up to around about the 230 level so that's what I'm seeing through there guys um, really 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 interesting stuff uh, in the markets right now I either way I see we're like we're likely to go up even if we do get a bit of a short-term pullback in these markets guys I do believe I do believe we're likely to see a move to the upside. Traders, I've been getting a lot of questions about asking me about, John, how do I trade the markets? What sort of system do I use? How, what's my approach and so on and so forth. So I'm running a free masterclass teaching you my number one trading system for the last 15 years. This is the most powerful and highest probability system on the planet. And I'm going to just share with you all the details. Plus, I'm going to share with you how I find and scan and do all my trading in one hour or less per day. If you go to johnsfreetraining.com, you can register for this free training that I'm going to run. So go to that right now. I'm going to teach you all the details. And I promise you, once you leave this free training, not only we know exactly what goes into a good trader, so you could be a good trader, but also you're going to learn my number one trading system, all the details so you can start to crush it. So go to johnsfreetraining.com and I look forward to seeing you on the masterclass. Go to johnsfreetraining.com right now.